Let's go back a bit to the development process of this film. The, you know, three years, eh? It's quite a quick turnaround for a film in any country, really, unless you have a large um, infrastructure and industry behind you. So, Vata Puya, the short, talk about how that came about. Um, I think it's all, um, I think, we, we, um, me and Catherine, the producer, Catherine Fitzgerald, um, I think it's all Catherine's plan, but she's, well, um, you know, she's, she's experienced and she knows her, and she knew that, you know, my, one of my main obstacles was that I haven't directed anything. Right. So, you can't go anywhere with the film commission, <laughs> you know, so, um, so, so we had to go back and, um, had to shoot something. Right. Um, I, I want to go back to the development process and getting your film up to a whole bunch of new filmmakers. It's actually an amazing thing. So you wrote the script and then what, you took it to the Film Commission? Yeah, we, we sort of submitted, uh, well, put it in and um, the Film Commission were interested in it. Uh, but again, you know, it's just an issue of uh, of having no experience in directing. Right, that's quite a big one, eh? Yeah. Because you have to attract finance. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah and that's quite right, you know, because if I hadn't done a short film, yeah. I wouldn't have tried out my others. Yeah. Okay, and then working with an experienced film crew. Oh, yeah, that's, I think that's the, one of the uh, great things when you're uh, a new filmmaker. You haven't done, you know, you don't have the experiences. You ask questions to them and you let, you know, they're like the, the bouncing wall. You know, you go and ask them this and then, and they'll say, oh, they'll recommend something. And then you say, oh, okay. So it's great because the support is there and you're confident they can do the job. And, and your crew came from different cultural backgrounds. Yeah. Um, most of the, the, the crew were, most of the, the, the head of departments were all from New Zealand, Kiwi, very experienced, very, very <coughs> good um, people. And yeah. um, we used um, some of the local boys as well, who worked on short film. And um, yeah, so. Is there an aspect of your filmmaking f philosophy that's about creating an ongoing relationship with the participants of that film? Um, well, I guess it's just um, training, you know, they, they did a good job and, and, um, and, and uh, very keen when we did the show. Film. So uh, it was just, you know, having them on will develop the, the industry as well. If I get to shoot them off from there, I'll shoot them, use them again. I just want to go back to the question about um, how you got the idea for the orator. Just because we need a little bit more clarity around that in terms of volume. So can you just talk about where the idea came from? Um, I guess, it, uh, like I said, it came from um, from you know my my fear of becoming a chief and. Um, um, I before before I went to Samoa, I, um, I was I was writing uh, a script for the master's degree in at Vic, and um, I had a different uh, I had different characters in it, but all the characters had were were dealing with uh, becoming chiefs and. Uh, and so I, uh, you know, I, when I came back from Samoa and I, I was a chief, I, I started to use that, in, you know, apply it to the story, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's only when you, when I started challenging the, the image of a, of a, of a chief, that I, you know, started to uh, discover the story, and find the main character. So um, yeah, so um, we we had to go up, 
Um, so we went out to the villages, and that's where we came across uh, uh, Fiolo, who's the main uh, actor. But it wasn't that easy, was it? Ah, uh, no. Uh, people are quite. Uh, Fiolo's family was quite, uh, quite protective of him. So you know, I was just trying to, you know, uh, explain to the family that it's a film, and not only the family but Fiola as well. Just try and talk to him about what's what's in the film and what's the message, and and uh, he was interested. He, I think he saw 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 the, the it's it's an important message in for him, and for yeah. So he, we finally convinced the family, and then Fiola. Agreed. And the other cast? Um, we we have uh, we used um, one of the main actresses, uh, uh, Tosi, um, and she's a she's a, she's a winning Tony. But um, we took her over. I, I, I like the way um, she you know, acts, and um, you know, yeah, I I I wanted to use her because I used her for my other show film. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Really good, and um, yeah, we started casting all the the, the, the other actors in Samoa. Only CD came from here, so um, we cast all local actors, um, local people. And, yeah. What was the response from the Samoan community? Um, uh, good. Um, people were talking about it. Were interested. They really enjoyed the image. You know. Seeing themselves on the screen and hearing their own language. Their yeah, so, language. Um, yeah, a film about them in their own language and their own backyard. Yeah, really happy, I think. Is there something um, to be learned about making a film in one's own language? Because we always tend to, to provide to make it in English, for example. Mm. Is there a different process to this? Um, I think why I um, made uh, used um, sound one is because you know, you, uh, you know film is made up of different elements. You know, if you take something out, you know, it sort of loses that power. And language is an important thing. You know, it's nice to hear the person in Samoa speaking Samoa. There's a question that's coming from Yulia, Kiora Yulia, um, and it has to do with the actors of the film. How did you get them to act like that? Because that was beautiful work. Um, well, you know, the, the, the film sort of deals with uh, universal themes, like, you know, death and, you know, happy and love. And, and each person has a way of uh, reacting to those situations. I, you know, we, when, when, when we went into the, to, to shoot, we had an idea of how the film or the characters should, should behave and, and uh, basically it's just trying to, uh, you know, you try to give um, the actors just, uh, you know, alternatives and other ways of showing, expressing them, the, the emotions and uh, instead of, uh, you know, expressing it like very out there and big, you, you give them other options like, um, just lead them in a way where, where they um, where they can you know they discover the, the, the character and you know one of the, uh, the the most amazing things in that I sort of experienced in the film when when the actors finally began to um, become the character like um, and then you know you sort of leave them to find their own way because then they absorb the the character and their, their lives, and now every time you know, instead of Fiola reacting, you know, someone like if there's a scene and someone talks to Fiola, it's not Fiola that's reacting. He's it's actually the character, like yeah. he's absorbed that, and so he's automatically keep kept his silence. So so uh, yeah, I guess it's just. Um, um, giving them the idea of what you want and just trying to find a way to get them there. There are some beautiful moments in the film, like the opening with the leaves 
and then sh the showing the character using the lens as rumoa, as healing. You know, that, that, those are, that, that's the sort of stuff that comes from someone who has a deep understanding of that landscape. At the same time, there are people all over the world that understand that. So it's important, yes, to find those motifs. Yeah, well, you, you, you sort of use what, um, what every, you know, um, what the important stuff in, in your, you know, in your culture, you know, in, in, in Sabo, you know, land and, and uh, plants are very important. Yeah. And, and so those are the things that you connect and use in your film to work. One of the, the main things that I wanted was um, to use the, 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 the formal speeches. Yeah. The formal speeches are filled with myths and it's very beautiful you know, to hear that because it's poetic and, and, and I wanted to use that in the film. And, um, yeah, so, uh, so I did. How do you do that? How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, you just, you know, it, it's, you can't really make a film about a chief if the chief doesn't speak. So you have to um, use that music. <laughs> my darling, it's one thing to say you have to use it. Mm. It's another thing to apply it. Because I was uh, uh, very interested in in this ritual where you give and you take, and then some people will come and, and give nothing but just ask for 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 more. And right. I wanted to challenge that. And I, the the some of the the, the it's in the speeches, you know, some of it's the, the speeches are actually layered to um, to continue something. What's been the previous experience of? the Samoan community in Samoa of other films. Because this would be one of the first in Te Reo Samoa, no? Eh? Yeah, I, um, yes, uh, I think so. Um, yeah, most of the films that have been shot there um, probably um, have been made by uh, foreigners. Um, you know, America had came in and made a few films, and um, but I think this is the first one that's been written and directed by someone with all local cast. Mm -hmm.